what's going on guys it's the uh, end of the year december 31st and uh trying to see if i can uh make this year go out with the bang doing a little quail hunting this morning so i'm going to one of the spots where i've seen quite a few cubbies so we'll see how it goes i'll keep you guys posted so i'm roughly about uh three or four minutes into the hunt I came him on a covey and I followed him over this little ridge and right on the other side of the ridge there's a mule deer doe still lingering in the area so at least we know there's deer here so uh, the first spot was a bust took one shot at the covey and they went over into the rockiest steepest terrain back there that you can see and at that point I was it's gonna take me too long to try and chase him down through the rocks. So I got another spot that I'm gonna go hit up right now. And uh, we'll see how that one goes. So just got back to the truck, um, heading over to another spot where I've had, or not, well, I had success and I've also seen uh, quite a bit of quail out there so I'm gonna go check that spot out and we'll see how it goes so second place was a bust didn't get a chance to uh, get any quail it ran into the same issue where uh, <clears throat> took one shot saw them coming or saw where they were took one shot and then just they all spooked after that and I just wasn't able to uh, track them down. For whatever reason, man, these quail are crazy. They just, they go for the most rugged rocks there is in the area. And it just makes it impossible to follow them in there. Cause then from there, they just run into the, to the shrubs and just disappear. So it is what it is. I'm learning. It's only my third time being out quail hunting and I've only bagged one quail in my entire, uh, in my entire three trips, so. It is what it is at this point, but let's hope for the best next time. 